Good afternoon. You're with a One News special on Christchurch's rapidly developing wildfire situation. Right now, it's a race against time to get the still raging fires under control. There are just a few hours of daylight left before the firefighters' main weapons, aerial units, are grounded. The area the now merged fires cover is huge, more than 2,000 hectares, and it's growing. The number of homes destroyed has entered double figures, and the blaze is threatening more communities tonight. Reporter Ali Pugh has surveyed the flames and the damage from the air is standing by to tell us about that shortly. First, here's Will Hine with the day's developments. Four days in and the continues. A fleet of helicopters dealing with flames, smoke, wind and power lines to protect houses on the outskirts of Christchurch. But in some places the flames have won out, destroying 11 homes and two sheds so far. You can see the east wall and then everything else from there on is basically collapsed uh, down to nothing at the other end basically. This couple watching from afar as a chopper dropped water on the remains of their home. It's just stuff and I've got the important stuff, that's all that matters really. Yeah, and we've got each other. <laughs> the two problem fires merged overnight to become one big headache. The advancing flames forcing the evacuation of 450 homes. More than 2,000 hectares have been raised, about the same area as 3,000 rugby fields. 14 helicopters and three planes have fought the fire from the air. They've been helped out down below by more than 100 firefighters, although their work's been hindered by crowds of rubberneckers. If you're not needed, stay out of it. You know, you, you actually, to be honest, I'm going to say this on, on the news, you're a pain in the ass. We don't need you, don't do it. The Defence Force has contributed firefighters, soldiers and water tankers. Milk tankers also repurposed for the day. We're just dumping into a pond for the uh, monsoon buckets to fill up out of and um, it, it looks pretty good. They're, um, they're working pretty hard, those boys, so they're getting, I think they're slowly getting on top of it. Whole neighbourhoods have cleared out, with two primary schools in Kashmir and Governor's Bay closed to students. Not that it was much of a